Okay, so <clears throat> the safety valve is now in the workshop. Well, uh, just like a quick, quick uh, sort of a video about this. So on top of the spindle, there's like a locking, the spin. So that has to be removed before uh, dismantling. So for that, I use this kind of a punch. You know, you just punch it out. So this is out. Then, then this thing will just come out. I mean, of course, I had to file the edges a bit because of the uh, it was getting stuck, and then it just comes out like that. Okay. Uh, after oh yeah, okay. The first thing, of course, was this. This is the locking nut. This is size twenty-seven on this safety valve. The locking nut had to be removed, and then then seventeen. So basically, the locking nut was removed by this. This is the locking nut, and then was seventeen. And then you like release, 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 release till it's like totally out. That sort of uh, decompresses or like lets the spring expand because otherwise you can never remove these or it'll just jump. It's gonna be very hard and it's gonna jump towards the end. So this is the spring. Uh, this is the, the, the one which is actually tensioning the spring. And this is the one which we're gonna test later on in the next part, which will be to test the safety wall for pressure before actually installing it again. Um, right, so this, and then of course, remove the four securing bolts here. Two are bolts and two are nuts. And then of course, you, you can just lift the whole thing up. I hope it does not fall inside. So yeah, oh, oh God, okay, so. <laughs> Okay, so this is what it looks like from inside. There's a log spindle. This is the one which we were able to see on top as well. This is actually preventing it from... Uh, uh, not the locking pin is more like... So locking, uh, obviously. But anyway, so th this is the spring now. And... The, the string has, of course, there's a carrier on top and below. So this... Looks corroded, so most likely this is the one which was... I mean, now it's cleaned up, but they're still corroded. So that like shows that there has been water, which has been going here. Not water as in the condensate. So anyways, so this has already been cleaned. Next part is this. Uh, this is the spindle and the wall seat. So this is uh, now already lubricated and ready for installing. But uh, initially this was very hard to come out. So what has to be done is you lay the wall down. And then uh, what I did was I used, I hope it does not fall, I used one of these like a shaft kind of a thing. Just, uh, we are actually rolling a bit. Okay, I'm gonna just put it there. So, what I did was I just like put it here. And then this actually goes and connects, uh, I mean, the shaft goes here. And then, this, while it sits like that. So basically you hammer it from below and then this will come loose. When this comes loose, the whole piece comes out. So basically you are hammering here. Uh, at the moment there's no mark visible, but when I was hammering from there, so, I mean, I have, this is the place where you hammer from, from below, and then this full thing comes out. So this is what it looks like from inside, the seat and the lid, and this piece, which is, which is sort of moving. This was also stuck, so all the rust, etc., has to be cleaned up from these surfaces using a wire brush or something. All the seating surfaces and this this was actually quite clean, but maybe because this is stuck, so that's why it was just opened sometime during operation and then it did not sit back properly. I mean fully. So this is basically it, and all these surfaces have to be clean, which are already clean. And now next step is of course the caskets. Once the caskets are prepared, then the wall will be ready for putting back in service.